Genetic mapping in horses. So let's look at what all these letters mean. So first let's look at main link. Our main link will be represented by long and short. A capital M is long and a lowercase is short. Our fur length, long will be capital F, short will be lowercase f. Coat pattern, capital P will be solid and lowercase p will be a paint. So let's look at a few pictures of my horses. Let's look at the bottom left. His name is Snapper. He's a short mane, long fur, solid pattern horse with the genotype of a lowercase m, uppercase f, and uppercase p. Now let's look at the lower, lower right. This is Smokey. He's long mane, short fur, paint pattern horse with a genotype of a capital M, lowercase f, lowercase p. Well, what would our cross result in? It's Cody. He's pretty cute. Would he be our cross result? Just kidding. There's no way. This is our actual F1 trihybrid. This is a long mane, long fur, solid paint horse named Big Boy. Our two genotypes are listed above. Now let's look at a genetic map. There's a few things to look at when looking at a genetic map. First, let's look at the coefficient of coincidence which is 0.74. And then we have our two genotypes listed, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then we have our two distances. We have our 10 centimorgans and our 15 centimorgans. So what does a genetic map tell us? A genetic map allows us to see our different genotypes. In this case, we have eight different genotypes. And each genotype results from a crossover. So we have four different kinds of crossovers. So we have an NCO, a DCO, an SCO1, and an SCO2. And there's a probability of each of these occurring. As you see on our last column, each of our NCOs have the same probability, our DCOs have the same probability, and so on. But how do we find these probabilities? Let's just look. So let's look at our double crossover or a DCO. So we use formula. So our formula is one half times R1 times R2 times C. Well, where do these numbers come from? Well, our R1 is our first range, which is gonna be our 10 centimorgans, which will be 0 0.10 times our 15 centimorgans, which is 0.15 times our coefficient of coincidence, which is 0.74 to get a total of 0 0.00555 for our double crossover probability. Now let's find our SCO1 probability, which is one half times our R1 minus our DCO. But the DCO we will use will be before we multiply by one half. So when we fill in our numbers, we get 0 0.0445.